Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here on my Galaxy S6 with a Note 5 ROM port. So, kind of fun, you can see here, uh, I haven't bought the Note 5 yet, but uh, I probably will here in the future here in uh, maybe September or October. Uh, so, let's take a look at this port now that has the kind of like the look here of, uh, uh, of the Note 5 and some of... Uh, the uh, the apps so first of all I'm just gonna go to display I'm gonna disable this screen timeout so the first thing you will notice here is uh, of course the new kind of icons that you can see at the bottom here uh, that it looks like they're going with the more uh, rounded design on the icons here in uh, in the, the note 5 uh, ROM uh, and if we go into apps here, you will notice one nice thing here that you may see and that is that uh, all the apps looks a little bit smaller because it has one extra row I think and also up and down that it's it just shows more apps than uh, what it does on the S6 and other Galaxy devices. And you can also see it in here that uh, everything just looks a little bit uh, smaller. Uh, let's just try here to see if uh, the camera camera works here quick camera shortcut that you do get on the s6 double tap instantly opens up which is very very nice how it uh, quickly responds there uh, if we um, take a look here you can still see that you kind of get the uh, the s6 design here in uh, many of the apps uh, like the phone the internet uh, app is also looking uh, the same here as on the S6. And also as you can see very very nice speed here in, the, in this specific uh, ROM version. Now my home Wi-Fi network here. No problems. If we tap here on the power uh, button, you can see also that this menu, menu looks a little bit smaller. Uh, you will also notice some uh, new kind of wallpapers here. Uh, that is like the default in Note 5, I'm pretty sure. So here we have them. They look kind of nice. I definitely do enjoy new wallpapers on a new phone. This one was in the S6. And if you hold in here, you can also see that same as with S6, you do have the theming options. Uh, some new apps that you do get in here is uh, if you go into tools here, you can see Scrapbook, which is an app for the Note 5. And also Samsung Gear, uh, if you have a Samsung smartwatch. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You of course have the normal My Files. And SideSync seems to be an app you can also download in the Play Store, but it's pre-installed here on the Note 5, so you will be able to sync the um, uh, the uh, what you have on your phone to other other screens. So I never tried that, but it's good there to know uh, about that one. S Planner might also have a little bit of a different appearance. I think some animations uh, can be a little bit different when you go in and out here. Uh, what else do we have? We have normal Galaxy app, S Health, and uh, the clock. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure it looks the same. Cat later has used a new icon uh, over there. You have apps like the video app. This was when I did the Nutella thing video in April, I think it was. That was pretty fun to do. But you can really see how smooth the UI is. Uh, and you can also call uh, with this uh, specific uh, version over here. And I'm really, really happy about the speeds when you go in and out of stuff here. So that is awesome. Tons of different modes, uh, of course. And yeah, you do have this uh, thing here also in the S6 or in the Note 5, how you have this cool thing with live broadcast instantly to YouTube as an option here. 
you have virtual shots and uh, some other stuff in there as well which looks pretty cool you have the S Note app of course uh, so of course the Note 5 comes with a pen so you can in this app draw stuff and have fun with that uh, but the S6 of course doesn't come with a pen so it doesn't really seem to work here to do anything. I even tried with my Note, uh, 4, uh, Note 4 pen uh, on this one but it didn't seem to work that great. Other than that I really really do enjoy it. Uh, the newer icons and stuff like that. And you can just see how tiny this one is which is also a little bit of a difference. I have a little bit of a slow volume keys here because I've been testing this phone in water but uh, that has nothing to do with the software of course you have the normal standard flashlight if you tap on edit here S finder you can disable it and you can also disable quick connect which uh, can be nice there to do if you want to have a little bit of a more clean UI uh, if you go into settings here uh, you can see you have the S Pen features for the Note 5. That's not going to work here, of course. And if we go down uh, about device, you do have a tab here with battery info, 3000 milliamps. That's, of course, the Note 5's uh, battery there information. Uh, also, it says Galaxy Note 5. But, of course, oh, you can change the name of it. That's pretty cool. That's nice. And if we go back, we have the standard search up here as well, of course. Have the Play Store. And I haven't even connected it to the Play Store, but uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, just a quick little video here, uh, checking it out. Hopefully you did enjoy uh, this uh, specific video. And definitely let me know if you want to see anything else. And uh, have an awesome day. Peace.